what's up guys so today's video is going to be a little bit different except like not really because i'm just expressing my opinion which is what i do in most of my videos but in today's video i'm going to be talking about something that i have had personal experience with which is like most of my videos and it has something to do with this little thing right here you know what you call this you call this a phone it is a mobile phone that people use in their everyday life not necessarily for calling people up no not anymore now people use it for stuff um like this which is talking to their friends or stuff like this which is instagram and to me being you know internet queen but like not really because you know tyler oakley i love my phone i cherish my phone it may not be the best phone it may not be the phone that i want but this is like my child this phone although it may be broken severely is my most important possession when i'm at school like you can touch my bag you can touch my books you can even touch my food which i do get very angry about but if you must you can but when you touch my phone then we've got some real issues today on last period we had minimal supervision which is pretty much where there's too many classes that don't have an actual teacher and they just go out onto the playground and it's pretty much like an extra lunch time and so we had that today and at our school we have a volleyball court and this volleyball court has sand it's pretty much like a giant sand pit when there's no net and because there wasn't any net me and my friends we decided to go over there and we let the inner kid come outside and play in the sand so we were building sand castles and stuff and then eventually we started doing like tricks and stuff like we were doing cartwheels and handstands all that good stuff so this boy from my class comes over and i do a handstand and because i had my pockets open my phone was in my pocket i did a handstand my phone fell out and i fell on the ground and i was not worried about my phone at that point because i was too busy hurting because i just landed on my back and so pretty much while i'm not paying any attention this kid comes over and sees my phone on the ground and picks it up and keeps it in his pocket. Now I know that this kid was not intentionally trying to steal my stuff. People have lost their phones in the past at my school and people do like pinch other people's stuff all the time. Like I cannot tell you how many times this one other kid who's in my math class has just come up to me and taken my iPod when I had it. This was when my class was smaller and people sort of walked around the class more often and this kid would always go up to the front to get a worksheet to get a worksheet on his way back to his desk he would just take my phone or my ipod because i was too concentrated on my work and i was listening to music so i didn't even notice half the time but of course that kid i feel like he would actually steal something like i feel like that kid was just like nah there's something not right about him but then this other kid he's never sort of done something like that the kid that took my phone today i know that he wasn't intentionally stealing it but it was really bad i like freaked out and so he stood there and he's like libby are you missing something i had said something really dumb like a few seconds before so um my friend zoe was like her brain and i was like yeah is it my brain and he's like no like i'm being serious like you're actually missing something i was like what what and then um my friend kiara was like libby where's your phone and i was like wait where's my phone and um this kid who asked me if i was missing something obviously first thing because he's the first one that noticed I went up to him. I, I like was literally about to go off my head. I was like, oh, where is my phone? Do you have my phone? Where did you put my phone? Where is it? And so pretty much he's like, no, I don't have your phone. It's like in the sand. Like I saw it fall out of your pocket when you did a handstand. And like, I know where it is. It's just like, I'm not going to tell you. I was like, tell me where my phone is. He was like, no. And then I said to my sister, Sammy, I was like, Sammy, can you go and get your phone and call me? So as she was walking up there, I was like digging through the sand. I was like, where's my phone? I need my phone. If I don't have my phone phone i'm going to die and so like there was like five minutes left of the class so i was like oh my god where's my phone i'm panicking i had a literal breakdown then when sammy goes to her bag um my phone's on silent so she goes to her bag and she rings me and pretty much i'm like feeling around sin i'm like listening i'm like guys shush because i'm trying to hear the zzz, 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 zzz. So while I'm trying to hear that, I'm like, I turn around and I'm like putting my ear up to the sand trying to hear it. And then this kid goes, hi, Sammy. And I turn around and he had my phone up to his ear. I was like, excuse me. What do you think you were doing? Or what do you, I am literally about to go like crazy sassy on you. And so I went up to him and because I thought he was going to be like, no, you can't have it. I was like literally about to seriously like punch him. I was like, are you, run at me. I was like, give me my phone and like snatched it off him. I was like, bye, don't talk to me again. And then so pretty much this kid was like,
was like, hang on, I'm making a sculpture. And then he ran off like into another part of the sand and he started making his sculpture, sculpture. And then Kiara's like, oh my God, Libby, you should take his shoe and like throw it over the fence. Cause there's like a fence to the ag plot. And there was a like enclosed fence thing that the cow was in. And I was like, you want it? You can come eat his shoe to the cow. And so pretty much he was like over there making his sculpture, like not paying any attention. And so I just grabbed his shoe, threw it over the fence. So pretty much just a warning to anyone who wants to try something like that. You touch my phone and I will literally do anything. Payback. I, I even threw sand in this kid's hair. I was like, listen, I am not. This is what you get. This is payback. Don't touch my phone. Never touch it ever again. And he was also telling me about how him and the other kid that always used to take my phone are good pinch pocketers or something. I was like, dude, that's not a good thing. So I just finished editing this video as you guys can see. And I realized I didn't film an outro for this. I don't know how this happened. I don't know if it was because like my iPad ran out of space on it or like what happened, but there isn't an outro. So this is the outro. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you guys can subscribe to me down below and leave a comment down below. Has anyone ever taken your phone? If so, what did you do to them? Because I like almost killed this kid. Um, also, I am doing Vlogmas this year. Very exciting announcement. Yay! So that means the 25 days before Christmas is going to be vlogs every single day. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. I'm just going to try and do it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!